let's put let's put these issues in context mm. and let's also remember that the people of ghana that the parliament of ghana represents the moment a parliamentarian gets into parliament is the constituency not the party on which ticket the person went into parliament is that the so position now parliament please let me finish it parliament that is why the person is called member of parliament for a particular constituency not for mpp or ndc when this whole issue started and majority leader fenyo Markin took it to court his first uh, application to court was to interpret the article is it 57 that was being used and that was that 97 that was when um honorable aruna and went and stood on a campaign platform and made that pronouncement so he went to seek interpretation then he came to parliament and the minority leader at a force made a statement a speaker came after a day or two and May gave his decision declaring the seats vacant. That was when he went back to uh, court to challenge that particular decision for by speaker. Supreme Court said it should be stayed in October. I think that was around the 12th or early October. Then, when was the when did the Supreme Court rule? that the declaration of the seats wasn't uh, right. That was 12 November. What's your point with that? 12 November. So if Speaker really had the people of Ghana at heart, this would have been done. But you see, just as the NDC thinks, just as the NDC thinks, just that, just as the NDC thinks, that anybody who has had a stint with the MPP or being a part of the MPP, given any position in this country, they are biased towards the plan. In that logic, Speaker was NDC MP, first parliament, second parliament, third parliament, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. What's that got to do with it? It's got to do with everything. Ah, but he was approved by the it's whole house, and at the exactly time, at the time, with, with, MPP with had 137 seats. Say, the independent as the member of parliament supported them no, and they formed the majority. How was the parliament constituted? There was a majority side with a leader and there was a minority side with a leader. The majority side sits on the right of the speaker in the chamber. The minority sits on the left. That is true. That is how we've been running our parliament. That is true. This particular parliament started with a lot of chaos. We are not going to be part of that chaos if that is what the NDC Wants. It won't happen. Are you saying yes, the NDC side that brought the armed yes, groups into parliament? Did Both you see the soldiers? Sandra, can you recall the soldiers, soldiers who entered parliament? parliament was what so the NDC was, is the government of the data or the soldiers? Was, soldiers coming into parliament was something we all didn't agree with. So what are you talking but about? But that chaos is something that the MPP is not going to be part again. There were seats with names and tax. Let's come back to speaker. Before he recalled Parliament, the day that, was it the day that uh, Supreme Court ruled, or a few days after, National uh, Council of State, led by the chairman, went to him. President Kufu had cause to call on him to show leadership. A day before he recalling Parliament the first time. No, that was the second time. That was the second time he declared Parliament uh, agenda indefinitely. That was when he recalled Parliament after a request started being made. A day before that, and that is why I said in his own voice, I hope that after 7 December, it won't be too late to say sorry to Ghanaians. I didn't say you should come and say sorry to Ghanaians. No, no, yeah. But in his own words, when he had that press conference, journalists asked him a specific question. Will sitting who sits where he declined to give that direction. And for me, that was just setting the state for chaos. Who is the leader of parliament? He's speaker. Who chairs the board of parliament? He's speaker. So if the who clerk took the of, matter to court? Who, if the, ah, okay, but who took the, where, where else do you take 
uh, do you seek interpretations so when it comes to our Haji, constitution? Where, where do you see that? Said, where do you see? Do you know Roxanne? When it comes hey, my to eyes are here. Haji, do you know Roxanne? Papa, Nelson, Papa, where do you seek interpretation when it comes to the That's constitution? Supreme Court. That's Supreme Court. So let's even assume okay. going so, to court. Uh, uh, Haji, what's Haji, wrong? Haji, do you know? Do you know Roxanne Nelson? Could you tell me about that? Please, please. That's an NDC MP. Yeah, he's an NDC MP. Yes, granted. Is what? Is it not? Oh, now he's a Ghanaian. Now he's a Ghanaian. Yes. But people who no, no, be giving this are colored MPP. Now, now you see please. the hypocrisy. Now, Hadja, Hadja. The double standards are flip flopping in the NDC. Please, come to me. Yes. Come to me. Okay. Answer me. Where do you so, seek interpretation so, so, when it comes Supreme to law? Supreme Court, I have said that. Said, not only. Where so, do you seek interpretation? So, Rocks and Nelson, so was it wrong the legal practitioner and also the lawyer, just states that the speaker took a decision and as a result of that, he would want to urge the leader of government business to go back to the Supreme Court mm -hmm. to determine whether or not in exercising he, the speaker's discretion in this matter to decline the request Come again. was proper. I didn't get you. He's asking mm -hmm. that the leader of government business, mm -hmm. Apenyo Maki, mm -hmm. should, if he thinks mm -hmm. the discretion or the discretionary power or mm -hmm. decision that was exercised mm -hmm. by the speaker mm -hmm. is wrong or untoward, mm -hmm. should head back to the Supreme, Supreme Court. Court yeah. Parliament was supposed to go on recess when? On the 15th of November, right? The decision by Supreme Court was on the 12th of December. Parliament had three clear dates before recess. Even when Parliament is on recess, there are emergency uh, sittings when there's urgent business to be taken care of. That is why I said... May it, not, may it not be set as a precedence that a speaker ignored the ruling of the third arm of government, which is the judiciary. But he hasn't and done that, that, that. He hasn't done what? He hasn't, he hasn't done, done, he hasn't done, done what? He, have, no, he, he hasn't, hasn't done, done what? That. The, 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 he, he, he hasn't done what? The Supreme Court. They need to convene. The first thing, they need to convene. They, they convene. Need to convene they are, they are on when the, a decision is supposed to stay, what does it mean? That you hold on to it. To a proper but he was in the house. He went to the, the house. Side was not he went house. to the house. Where was the NDC sitting? We are doing a sitting at where the MPP was supposed to sit. If sitting was not important, mm. they could have sat outside and be part of parliament. But they went. But you see, now they've realized that whilst they were there, fighting over seats, waiting to fight and uh, uh, throw blows, and we rejected that chaos. When they went back to their constituency, they realized that Dr. Mahmoud Mahmia had led his pieces to do a lot of work in the constituencies. So now they are panicking. Mm. But let's, with their own, the same logic of the NDC, let's mm. not forget that Speaker Bagbin is NDC. Mm. 